The self-described daughter of Niue has arrived home, or to her second home, as Jacinda Ardern calls it. The Prime Minister's short trip to Niue to visit the Premier also became a family reunion, with Ms Ardern catching up with her parents and sister in the tiny island nation for the first time in four years. Our political reporter, May Heron, is also there. It's not usual diplomatic protocol for the Prime Minister to receive a big hug from the High Commissioner when they touch down in a country, but then again, they're not normally related. Jacinda Ardern's father, who's been High Commissioner to Noe since 2014, was clearly delighted to see his daughter and her partner Clark Gayford when they touched down in the single island nation this morning. And the Prime Minister made it clear during her traditional welcome that Noe had a special place in her heart. I was asked the purpose for which I was coming here and I replied, at least I believe I replied in Noe, and that I come in peace. Uh, if I could have uh, added, uh, I, I also come with joy, I would have. That joy brought on by the fact it's also been the first time her mum, dad and sister have all been together for four years. We've been trying to get a Christmas organised over here for, for years. Before the family could catch up properly, the Prime Minister had formal duties to carry out on the second stop of her five-day Pacific mission. She was clearly relaxed and comfortable as she talked and took questions from the several hundred local children who gathered to hear her speak at Noe School. You were checked on an island for three things would you wish for and why? Oh my goodness, if I was trapped on an island, is it a really lovely island like Nui? Because if it's a really lovely island like Nui, I would wish that the planes could never come, that my cell phone would never work again, um, and that I had a lifetime supply of that really lovely coconut bread that you can get down at the petrol station. <laughs> Ross Ardern, who has lived in Nui on and off since 2005, says it was great to watch his daughter speak there. It was a proud moment. Um, uh, I think she did wonderfully well, by the way. Uh, but it was splendid to be able to watch her and uh, to be able to signal New Zealand's messaging across to uh, the Nui government. But a lot of the discussions today surrounded Noe's goal to be more self-sufficient and less reliant on New Zealand. New Zealand is Noe's largest funder, providing aid of nearly $14 million in the 2016-17 year. Ms Ardern announced nearly a million dollars towards improving roads and water networks, as well as a further $5 million for the current solar energy program. That funding will assist with grid stabilisation, batteries, solar panels, uh, the um, technical equipment required to reach their renewable energy goals. And overall, uh, Premier Talangi uh, estimates it will save $1 million. Premier Toke Talangi says this shows the relationship between the two countries is slowly changing. Aid is substituted now for investment. I think that's extremely important for us because it gives a slightly different view. Jacinda Ardern also signalled there may be a change to the pension rules to try and encourage people to stay and live in Nui. Because Nuaeans are New Zealand citizens, the vast majority immigrate to work and study. Roughly 24,000 Nuaeans live in New Zealand, with only 1,500 living in the single island nation. Ms Ardern's family reunion will be short-lived. She's only spending a day on Nui before flying out to Tonga tonight. From Nui for Checkpoint, Mayheron.